my ex is DMing me a screenshot. I had a dream here and there. Like, what? And you out in the mall with a bitch? I don't want to hear that shit. Like, niggas not answering the phone. I know this fucking man. This is my man. I should did this shit a lot peer than I did, but. Hey y'all, it's your girl Kai and I'm back with another video. Hey y'all, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And um, today's video, as you can see by the title, is another story time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm back with another story time. And today's story time is going to be about... <sighs> what do I even want to say? It's going to be about... It's going to be about how I like finally like ended things with my narcissistic ex. So if you watched the last story time, this is basically like um, one of the things I talked about in that video of how like we find like into things. We used to be like back and forth and on again and off again. And like basically this story is about like how things finally like ended with us, like the final shebang, the breakup, you know? So um, yeah if you're new here hey how you doing join us join us join us you'll love it here i promise ask anyone you don't gotta take my word for it and if you're loyal your attorney can come in back and back and back again like you always do you know i rock with you you know i love you you know that i know that we know this and shout out to this subscriber i love you um this person is the one who asked me to do the story time in the first place so yeah make sure y'all like and comment sharing and subscribing because yeah to get into the video so i don't know if it's gonna be a long story or a short story i feel like i might go on a tangent at some point so just putting that out there but um basically the final breakup was in august or no end of july end of july of 2022 so going on a year y'all like what we done been standing up for a year yeah um, the whole relationship lasted over the course of like a year and a half, I say, cause what I want to call it the 2020. We got together in 2021, early 2021, on again, off again until like the halfway point of 2022. So like, yeah, like a year and a half of being on and off, on and off. Um, so yeah, how did that happen? How did it come about? So in my last story time, I kind of touched on some things that I kind of like noticed or like how the way like the person I was with made me feel. And like a lot of it had to do with like making like things like my fault or like I was always in the wrong in some capacity. Even like if I brought an issue to the person, to him, he would find some way to like flip it and make it my fault. And then like, we wouldn't even address like my feelings and like the issue I brought to him, we would address why he feels way about whatever I said. And then now at this point I'm feeling bad because I'm like, oh, maybe it is my fault. Maybe it is this, maybe it is that. And kind of just like, you know, being dumb. <laughs> Long story short. So, um, yeah. So let's get into like the details like that actually happened. So he's in the military, right? Lou. His name is Lou, we're gonna call him Lou. He's in the military, in the army, and basically he wanted to change his MOS or like his job in the military, right? So we had been talking about, like he had been talking about this for like a little minute, like, you know, he like mentioned it every now and again, talk about it, whatever. And then like, he finally decided to like actually go through with it, which he told me that one of the reasons that he wanted to go through with it, I like actually changed it because he was infantry um, and he didn't want to like die in a war or something. Uh, was because of me like I was I guess the main motivating factor um I don't know if he genuinely feels like that but that's what I was told and um he ended up deciding to change it uh by this point we had been together like we were back on after the have a baby on me situation after all of that we were back together and he was going to um AIT which is basically like the school like the training for the new job that he had to go to so um 
he was always stationed in like as far as like as long as we had been together he had always been stationed in virginia so like i would go to dc and see him that kind of thing and then for his schooling that he was going to, to change his job he was um the school was in south carolina was it south carolina i think it was south carolina i ended up catching a train out there at some point but we'll get into all that so um he had to go to south carolina for the school which was closer um than virginia was so i was happy about that but at the same time like he about to be in school like working like it's not about to be like if i go see him when he's like working his normal schedule and, like he's off or this or that it was more like he was like working consistently basically um that kind of thing so um what happened what happened what happened um he goes to um south carolina and gets there um we're talking or whatever and then like but I don't know if I think he ended up getting there late or like something about his orders was taking a long time. And so like when he got there, he ended up starting on like the next week or something like that, y'all. So like when he got there, he had like a like a little bit of downtime, like like days where he wasn't like actively like in school, like doing things for like the, the schooling. He was like just there, like getting set up, getting settled, that kind of thing. So, um we was on the phone like you know chit chatting like we normally do on the phone talking um what else i even end up when I'm going up there like i said i end up catching a train the first time i ever caught a train i went up there to go see him um we stayed in his hotel and then um that was that i went back home so when i went back home um that night i got back on the train it was like 11 like late in the night like 12 in the morning or whatever right i caught the um uber i went to the um train station by myself because he had like left already like bef like a hour or so before me um left the hotel to go whatever the hell like back to his uh back to base i get um to the train station or whatever i'm texting him or whatever we texting i'm thinking we'll get back on the phone like we do every night and go to sleep or something and we didn't end up doing that because i just chalked it up to it being because i was on a train and like you know we just we'll talk tomorrow like you know that kind of thing and this was like a sunday i believe so like that following um monday like we still wasn't talking like as much and i don't know exactly which one of these days he started by working but i think it was that monday that he's like started school right so he starts school and we're not talking that much at all y'all so like we're texting like the first i think the first couple of days like it was all right like that sunday and that monday like it was all right that like, we was texting um but we hadn't gotten on the phone um and that's like that was like not our thing like we we always been on the phone like what you mean when i we're not on the phone what's going on and one of our problems that we had in the past y'all like in the past when we first started dating was he was like he don't think i would be able to deal with his lifestyle and like how demanding his job is and i'm not built for the military wife lifestyle and he was trying to like make it seem like i don't know how to handle the stuff that comes with it and i would always be like no i can't like you know i can't handle it. like you know it's not my first rodeo because my ex before him was in the military for one for two like obviously it's not the same because they had two different jobs and all that kind of stuff i get that but at the same time it was like he was making it seem like he was going to be like whenever he had to go to schools or like that kind of stuff like he wasn't gonna be able to talk and i wasn't gonna be able to handle it and my thing was like you know like i can handle not talking to you if you communicate that we're not gonna be able to talk but if you don't tell me like we're not gonna be able to talk I'm not going to know that we're not going to be able to talk until you're not talking to me. Like, that's the that's the thing. But, you know, whatever. So, fast forward to we actually end up going to this, uh, this school and we're not talking that much. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to nag. I'm not going to bitch and moan. Like, I'm not going to do nothing. Like, I'm just going to let it, like, let it flow, let it go. And, um... It had only been like one day at this point anyway so i'm like you know he's probably busy getting settled in like you know getting in the swing of things like you know we'll talk i'm just like we'll talk like you know it's fine because before he had went he had like had a little talk with me about like all right i'm about to be at this school and i'm gonna be able to talk that much i might not even have my phone like i don't know blah 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 so i'm really not able to talk to you blah blah but like you know basically hold it down pop so i'm just like yeah like you know no problem like yeah i'm gonna miss you but like you know it's whatever but when he got to the school, they never took his phone. So I'm like, oh, so we'll, we'll be able to talk whenever he have like 
like he go on a break and he might text me and be like hey babe what you doing or like you know when the nighttime come he'll at least text me good night you know something like you know i'm not asking for a lot i know we can't be on the phone all day every day i get it i get it but like something like you still have a girlfriend at the end of the day sweetie like you know i'm still here so which you know y'all might feel how y'all want to feel like that i feel how i feel so um we ain't talk that much um we didn't really talk that next tuesday we didn't talk that much um and like his responses to like after sunday like when i had left he was like the energy kind of just like do, like down went in a downward spiral after that and i was like what the fuck why is he acting like this like i could just feel the energy through the text i just was like he not texting me like how he normally takes me like happy and stuff but i'm like you know what maybe he in that zone in that mode or whatever tuesday comes same thing barely anything um not really much uh i wish i had a messages but like i said i deleted everything whenever we broke up because i wasn't about to go back and read that shit so all of that's deleted but um we was barely talking basically is the point i'm trying to make wednesday comes i believe it was wednesday and he ended up getting his wisdom teeth pulled so he facetimes me and i'm like oh my god like he facetimed me like i missed him so i answer the phone he facetimes me in the dentist in the chair like lean back like with all the the glasses on they put the glasses on when they put the light in your face put the glasses on he got the bib going like he's they hooked they hooked him up and i'm like on the phone and i'm laughing because i'm like boy you look a fool but like not actually but like you know jokingly but serious and like he was like he like laughing too a little bit so i'm like okay we good like you know we good we good um basically we end up getting off the phone and then after that we don't get back on the phone no more that day um we was texting for a little bit but then he was texting telling me basically like oh he was asleep or whatever the case was like they had him doped up because of the um because of the surgery the wisdom teeth removal and all that stuff and before that like the day before i was telling him like make sure you drink some pineapple juice for the swelling blah 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 help you with recovery all that um so we had been having like little conversation here and there but even then it was not it was not um and so what happened so yeah he ends up getting his wisdom teeth pulled and then later that night he takes me talking about I don't even know if he texted me that night or if he texted me the day after and was basically like he went to go get drunk with his friends which what i was i was just so like ticked off because i'm like bro like you're you're barely making time for me but you just fresh off this fresh off the table about to go get drunk He's talking about we, we uh, drinking or like they drinking. I don't know how he phrased it, but basically like drinks were involved and he was gone. And I'm like, but you know what? I'm not nagging. I'm not, I'm not going to bitch him on. I'm just going to be like, you know what? Whatever. Cause he not about to tell me that I can't handle being a military wife. He not about to tell me that. Cause I know me. I know myself better than you know me. Cause you don't know shit. So I'm like, you know what? We'll have fun. In my head, I'm like, boy, fuck you. Like you can't say shit to me. You, you haven't called me in three days. Not even to say, hey, babe, I hope you had a good day today. I miss you. I love you. I'm busy. But you already know what it is. It's like, you don't know. Not, I'm not being reassured at all. Now, I understand if you don't have your phone or you're just tied up or you're like just working constantly. But you're literally making time to spend. Like, you're, 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 you have time to spend. You're just spending it with people you want to spend it with. You're trying to build community with people that you're meeting now in this base and that's fine. Like, you know, have you some friends. I don't want you to not have friends, baby. You got to be out there for two months. I want you to get to know somebody, please. But at the same time, it's like, hi, I'm here. Like, hey. And like before, another thing that I kind of like had a problem with in our relationship was that I would always feel like whenever somebody new came into the picture, he would like forget the fuck about me. Like, I always just felt like he kind of put me on the back burner every time. Like, even if it wasn't like like a girl like a female like even like if he had a male friend come in the picture like he would be cool on the phone like he would say stuff and i'll be like what the fuck or like he'll try to start up an argument not an argument but like a debate and then he'll like bring the friend in on the debate and get them on his side he'll be like he's like hey and it's ain't, ain't this like this ain't xyz like xyz and i'm like well i don't give a fuck how you feel you asking a nigga that think just like you I don't want to hear that shit like i just was so irritated basically like he got around new people and just like start acting different towards me i felt like which we had had this conversation before i had told him before now whether he retained the information or not is his business but um 
so yeah he went out got drunk with his friends or whatever right thursday comes um same thing i think i ended up calling him i ended up calling him one of these days right i don't think it was monday through wednesday so i, I will say i think i called him thursday but like we hadn't talked in like three days i called his phone and like i'm um i don't know if i was going to i was i was driving i, I just remember i was driving and i facetimed him and then he got on the phone and he was like what's up like basically like like hey like what's up and like the energy was very much like what like what like what like what's going on like you called me what and i'm like i'm like oh i'm just calling talk to you like you know we ain't talking in a couple days like you know i'm just trying to you know talk to you i miss you a little bitch like you know that's all and he was just like oh okay like uh i'm doing such and such like we about to go studying blah 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 but like you know like cool cool basically like like okay like you miss me and why the fuck are you calling me like that's what it felt like he didn't say that obviously but like that's that's what it was giving and so i'm just like damn and then something else happened i i want to say like he was just being like very like short with me on the phone and i was just like well what the fuck did i do like i didn't do shit to your ass and my fault you gotta fucking study the fuck i i didn't do shit to you i didn't talk to you you didn't talk to me hell i'm trying to call you and check up on you make sure you're all right but you know what i was like you know what i'm not gonna bitch him oh i'm not gonna do it because he's not gonna tell me that i'm not ready he's not gonna tell me i'm not ready for this lifestyle because i'm ready baby i'm ready so thursday comes and goes um friday gets here we don't talk friday you know friday the start of the weekend like you know everybody off on friday night unless you work overnight which he ain't work overnight so unless he was studying or some more shit he was free niggas is free on friday nights so i'm like i'm just going about to talk to my man on friday night child friday night come and damn go we not talking we not talking we not talking we're texting here and there but we are not talking by here now i mean here and there like we're not even texting like like babe like let's be so serious and it would be some points where like he would be texting me like he would text me and i'll call him because i'm like oh you free right now or like you on lunch or like you want something i'll call his phone like regular call and i'll be like trying to call to talk niggas not answering the phone so somewhere along this this time of this week i was thinking like i had an inkling that intuition start tingling y'all already know where i'm going with this i'm like there's a bitch out there that got this man attention i know this man i know this fucking man this is my man i know him and i'm like it's some bitch out there that got his fucking attention he trying to he telling me like oh he getting this mold when he get out there and all this shit yeah yeah that shit sound good mm -mm. i know what the fuck's really going on so y'all my intuition already been thumping since monday y'all since monday it was thumping my, my intuition was like hitting at me like tickling me like hey girl the womb is tingling like bitch you know what's going on but i'm like nah nah not my man nah i'm brushing it off i'm brushing it off because there's no way i just left there's no way now do i think he's actively like hunching somebody no but there's a little flirty flirty going on you got your eye on somebody that you like out there that you talk to that you conversate with that you getting a little emotionally you know invested in i know what's i know this man i know my man so i'm just like oh hell y'all why do i have a dream i don't even have a dream. i'm not even clairvoyant so i don't even have dreams about like shit and if i do have a dream i don't remember it and when i like you know whatever i barely dream i had a dream this was the dream y'all it sounds crazy but like y'all see it come it came to fruition i had a dream that i went to his job one day and he was standing laughing and joking in like this big ass pair of pants right <laughs> He's in this big ass pair of pants. And then I, he like laughing and joking with his coworkers, like pointing over here, like to the desk or whatever. And I walk around, cause I'm, I'm like, I'm like, Luke, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck's going on? Like, what's this? I walk around him and in the same pair of pants, back to back with him is a bitch. Standing, sharing pants with my man. <laughs> it's like they in their uniforms, but he like, got like a bigger pair of pants and they like in the same pair of pants. And I walk around, I'm like, who the fuck is this? Like, like, what the fuck is going on? And I go around to him and I'm, I'm like, cuss his ass out. Cause I'm like, obviously he's fucking with this bitch. And he's like telling me like, like you tripping, like, you know, like basically like you need to calm down. Like, don't worry about whatever I got going on. Like basically trying to tell me like, shut the fuck up and go home. And I was just so pissed off in that dream. I woke up mad as hell. Cause I already ain't talked to this damn man all week. I'm pissed. Which I don't know when this dream came. I, I want to say it was like Tuesday through Thursday. I had this dream. 
And after that, I was just like, damn. Somebody took my bitch. But nevertheless, I kept, um, you know, trying to hold it down. I'm, I'm not bursting off like, nah, that's just a dream, it's just a dream. But you know, a dream is a dream is a dream. Some dreams mean things. So I'm like, you know what? Nah, like I'm tripping. Um, Friday comes. What happened Friday? I'm trying to remember. Um, I want to say Friday night, we did not get on the phone, I don't think. I think he ended up going to do something with his friends. Whatever. Um, the friends he just met fucking a week ago if that not even a week ago the friends he just met a week ago that he just so pride and joyful like can't wait to hang around these people that have so much in common with him that whenever he goes back to fucking dc to go collect his things he's not going to talk to any of them no more the same friends that he put me on the back burner for the same friends that happens every fucking time whenever them friends go left i'm always right them friends so you know whatever like you know community build community whatever like y'all gotta be here for two months i get it so i'm like you know what i'm pissed off but we'll talk tomorrow don't worry about it we end up texting y'all we were texting um oh no 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 this wasn't this was this was this was saturday okay i'm getting ahead of myself okay so um friday yeah we don't talk or whatever he goes to do something i don't fucking know none of my business fuck fuck it um so we end up getting on the phone again. I want to say we got on the phone Saturday. Was it Saturday? I want to say the breakup happened on the Sunday. So if the breakup happened on the Sunday. Then what I'm about to tell y'all happened on. Okay, I remember now. So um, we get on the phone on Friday. Gets on the phone on Friday because he had got me some sheen. Like he bought me a sheen haul, sheen cart um i'm on the phone with him trying on my stuff or whatever and then i'm also like building this chair i want to say i'm building something one of the things i have in my room that i was building i was building it and i was like um i tried on my stuff or whatever and he was like okay like this was good yeah like this about this i like this about that blah 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 that's a good color whatever like you know he's talking to me he's also talking to like his roommate that he's sharing a room with like you know occasionally i don't have a problem with it i'm just happy to build a phone with me like you know i ain't talking to my man all week um, but you know, I'm not gonna complain. I'm just happy. Like all the worries are going now. Like we're on the phone. It's fine. He was just busy studying. Like I get it. Like, you know, he was stressed out. I want to stress my man out. Um, we get on the phone. I try on the clothes and then get on the phone. I try on the clothes, whatever that's done with. I start building one of these things I got from Amazon and I'm like struggling a little bit, but not, not seriously, but like, I'm struggling a little bit. And I'm on the phone. I'm like, I'm like, you don't see me struggling. You're not gonna, you're not gonna help me. You're not gonna offer me no help. And he was like, Why do you do that? And I'm like, Do what? Like now I'm confused because I was joking. I mean, how much help, how much assistance could you offer me over the phone anyway? If I'm not showing you the instructions or asking you for help in general, I. It was like he made a problem out of nothing, like thin, pure thin air. Like he would just took like anything I did and like use it as ammo to like pick a fight with me when we had already not been talking and i kind of was just like bro what we end up getting off the phone because he says that he's about to go bowling so he we get off the phone he texted me some more about it basically telling me like that shit is unacceptable basically like going going on a tangent about how there's a problem there's a problem with what i just said or whatever and i'm telling him like we joke like this like it was a joke like i wasn't like no like whatever and even if I was serious, like, let's say devil's advocate, let's say I was serious and I was like, you're not going to help me. Like, why is your first thing to be like, to like, I, I don't know. Like I, something about it. It just wasn't like, it fed into basically my intuition that was already telling me that it was something else going on. So that's what that did. The rest of that day, I did not talk to him anymore. Um, he ended up going bowling. Was that Saturday? I think that was that might have been Friday night. I don't know. Friday, Saturday, I don't know. But um basically he ended up going bowling. We didn't talk the rest of that night. Um and we were just texting about it. Then he stopped texting and I was just basically told him, like, hey, tomorrow, like I wanna have a talk. Like I wanna talk. Basically, like, um, so I'ma call you. Um I he said, I'ma call you or you should call me when you wake up one of the two. The following day, 
um he wasn't um he hadn't responded so i figured he was asleep and i texted him and i was like um basically like hey like uh you can just call me when you wake up um when you're when you're ready to talk because i wanted to make him feel like more comfortable going into the conversation like i didn't want him to feel like like i was just trying to like basically make him feel comfortable about the situation when i didn't feel comfortable just to like for for peace like just so we could both have peace i would rather him be comfortable than than me even though i really wanted to address the situation last night whenever you came out of thin air with the shit because i was like bro like we've been good like the last time i was up there like we was good everything was fine like we haven't talked this week and i miss you but like you know like like i don't understand like where all this aggression is coming from or whatever and he's just like like no like blah 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 like like you know trying to make it a big deal uh, which is not something that's foreign to his style of communication. So, um, basically, I'm waiting. Um, I'm waiting well until the um, afternoon. It's like 2 in the afternoon. I'm like, okay, he should be up by now. Like, even if he did sleep in, like, he should be up. Still nothing. Um, I check his location because he shared his location with me. Um, he had shared his location with me recently. I checked his location. He's at the mall. So you're at the fucking mall. You didn't have to see to text me. Oh, oh no, he texted me. He texted me like at like 12 or something like that. It was like, okay. And so I'm like, okay, like he, he should be calling me shortly. Like I'm thinking like he gonna call me because he done said, okay. As if like, okay, yeah, like I'm gonna call you. I'm not thinking when you want to call me is fucking tomorrow. Like why the fuck would I think that? Like, why do you want to be with me for that long? What the fuck is going on? So, um, well, I mean, he said okay then like i'm still waiting hours later i check his location he's at the mall i'm like bro what the fuck check his location later he's been at the mall for hours y'all at this point like i check his location at like what two three i check his location again at like five six seven he's still at the fucking mall imagine a fucking imagine you got time to go bowling go get drunk go to the mall you got time to do to live your fucking best life i ask you for a text to check in every now and again hey babe i was thinking about you i'm not even asking you for 10 seconds that only takes like five if you're a fast texter like what the fuck like but making it seem like i'm doing the most like that was the thing that pissed me off the most it was like making it seem like i'm doing way too much whenever you're literally doing the fucking most where you're at it was just like i just wasn't fucking with it um so later that day my ex that i told y'all about that was dealt in the material before him the part i was with him my ex texts me he's like hey just wondering are you still with such as are you still with lou and i'm like no why because i want to hear what you got to say at this point um whether you're about to i don't know what you got to say but at this point i knew he had a girlfriend so i knew it wasn't gonna be nothing crazy and i was like he's been in a relationship with me so he knows like i'm not with the funny shit like don't text me on no bullshit if you got a girlfriend like like we we had a good rapport with each other like we we didn't end on like super bad terms or anything like that like we was good so like we still had was like cool with each other like we we had an understanding so like i'm like no why just because i want to see what you got to say because i don't want to say yes and then you don't want to tell me what you got to tell me no tell me. so i say no why he said um he's like oh okay just i, I just making sure because i thought he was cheating on you and i'm like i'm like lol what you mean he sent me a screenshot, y'all, of my fucking man, Lou, at the mall with a girl. Just imagine. 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 What? What the fuck are we talking about right now? What? And y'all forgot to mention, the day before, I had prayed. I had said that prayer, you know, the magical prayer. And I was like, God, please remove anybody in my life that doesn't have real love for me that's like faking a funk that doesn't be in my life right now like you know remove them you know within reason like you know don't you know but like i do want them like you know i do want to get the next stage of my life without them in it if they're not genuinely here for the same reasons that i'm in their life imagine the next day my ex is dming me a screenshot because basically i guess within the military community they so everybody knows somebody that knows somebody else because they all intertwined or whatever the hell but i just know that a lot of times like military people be following each other 
So my ex just so happened to follow old girl and he was just looking out for me. Imagine he was genuinely just looking out for me like a good guy. Imagine. What a king. I, ho I hope his girlfriend is very happy right now. I'm like, I say him back and I'm like, well, actually we are together, but thank you so much for this. Like, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, yeah. So, um, boom, I end up uh, texting Lou and I'm like, I sent him the screenshot. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I was dot P at all, y'all. If I would have kept shit P, you know, we're going to let bygones be bygones, but you know, everything played out how it should, but I should did this shit a lot p -er than I did. But in the moment I was just like, ah, wow. So I just went off my mistake but you know whatever so i send the screenshot i'm like imagine me trying to trying to talk to you blah blah blah, blah. i went and talked to you in a week and i'm sitting here feeling bad trying not to nag and bitch and moan and all this shit because you so you don't have problems so you be comfortable and all this shit and you out in the mall with a bitch you out with a bitch da -da -da, da -da -da, i'm popping my shit y'all i call his phone he texts me back i call his phone no answer oh Okay, cool. He's texting. He like, man, she, man, we, she sit here right now. We, we both sit here confused, da, 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 whatever the fuck he said, which pissed me off even more because there's no way you're telling this bitch what I'm saying. What are you fucking insane? Are you crazy? I'm sitting here going to fuck off on you and you're going to turn around to the bitch that I'm talking about you too. Talk, I'm talking about to you and confide in her about what the fuck I'm saying. How the fuck did you think that was a good idea? You're fucking insane. So we end up um taking him back and forth or whatever. He like basically like you dumb as fuck. Like it's over with. Like we're done. I'm like nigga, I already broke up with you. Well, like when I was going to my rant, I was like fuck you. Like it's over with. Like you can have that shit. That bitch can have you. And the, the what really grinded my gears was that okay. So the pic, this how the picture was. He was sitting down on like, like let's say in the shoe store. Like he's sitting down in front of the mirror. He got the phone, not his phone. I know what my man's phone looks like. He got this bitch phone. Take a picture click she's standing behind him off to the side like right here like right behind his shoulder whatever cheese the leaning like you know cheese the song playing wait for you i said that bitch don't got away she don't gotta wait for shit the bitch can have you now like i'm going in y'all like i'm pissed um he told me like you don't even like that but like you don't know what the fuck you talking about this is my home girl she engaged she got a fiance blah 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 which that didn't help shit because first of all military culture is cheating on your spouse so eat my ass that did not help your case at all i don't know what she got she could have a whole husband she could have two of them that would mean nothing to me i don't care this shit is inappropriate as fuck. There's no way you're playing in my face like this. So we broke up over. He like, he like, man, we done. I'm like, nigga, I already broke up with you. What the fuck you talking about? Like, no, we're, we're done. We're, we literally are done. I already said that shit. So boom. Um, Later that day, he ends up calling me. Um, He's like, man, like I was looking for rings. My roommate could vouch for me. Like basically like, he could merge or whatever. Like I was looking for rings. Like I was about to propose to you. If you would have just waited a little bit longer, I asked you when I told you when I came in here, like this was going to be like this, it was going to be like that. All you had to do was wait and be patient, blah, 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 blah. Like I went ring shopping the other day. Like that's why me and, me and my, me and bro had went to the mall and stuff. Like that's what I was doing when I was in there. Like you don't even know. But like, I'm like, I'm like, okay, but you still was taking pictures with a mall with it. it, it, it you were still taking pictures at the mall with a bitch. That's what I'm talking about. I don't even fuck about the rings right now. Like, do you shit? Like, that's nothing to do with what I said. Like, at that point, I was kind of just like, what the fuck is the correlation? I'm not seeing it. It's not clicking Steven. Um, so after that, basically, like, we have like throughout the course of like the next, I'll say like week week or two we still kind of was like trickling down like you know like you know the, the rubble was settling from the um catastrophic breakup um i had called his mom like i talked to his mama uh his mom had talked to me i think he might even he talked to my mom like he texted my mama uh i was talking on the phone to her i think um it was just a lot it was a lot um and what else like so like after like so often like i end up calling him i was drunk i called him one time and um we still didn't end up getting back together though uh he would like we would stop talking he'll email me i blocked his number after like we got into it again cuss each other out blocked his ass he emailing me and then like after that point like every i say month and a half two months he would email me and be like, I thought I would have been unblocked by now, or like just trying to talk in general, whatever. Um, so yeah, he's blocked on email now. 
um he's blocked in my email his number is blocked um he ended up getting a new phone number call me um that number is blocked uh so yeah like i really cut ties with everything like the last time was really the last time so moral of the story is people are gonna call you dumb to the day you motherfucking leave but you're not gonna leave until you're ready to leave and that's something i had to learn because before like looking back i should have been left i should have been left his ass the only problem was that i just wasn't done so that's why i didn't leave like everybody could have saw it my friends saw it him my mama saw it but i was not done myself so i did not leave which i wish i was done a lot sooner but at the same time i do understand that love is very complex that things happen and that everybody's situation is not the same so like i give myself grace but when i look back but I used to hold on so tight to the good moments that we did. Because obviously we had some good moments, which is why I stayed with his ass. It wasn't just all bad, but it was bad. It was bad. It was toxic. It was bad. But I used to hold on so tightly to those good moments and those good memories to the point where I would like soften the blow. It would soften the blow of the bad, bad um, situations and things like that. Or like I would just not let it hold as much weight in my head or just like try to give those situations grace because i want these good moments to continue but yeah so um basically after that situation um we had went through like the breakup little stages or whatever then like a little bit later i want to say like a couple months later um we ended up talking a little bit um not on anything kind of romantic but kind of just like being cordial or like trying to be cordial with one another which i ended up cutting that off completely when i like blocked the new number and the email and all that stuff just because um i just don't feel like that relationship serves me anymore i think that the point because um he told me that I'm the reason he believes in God. I feel like that was my purpose it, to be in that relationship. And I feel like I learned a lot about myself, the things that I'm willing to tolerate and not willing to tolerate. And like my, my non-negotiables moving forward um, in any romantic relationship or relationship in general. Um, not to ignore like the red flags, the signs, because if I'm being, if I'm being frank, if I'm being honest, I knew this man was a narcissist when I met him. After our second conversation, I knew exactly what he was. He reminded me of somebody in my life and I knew he was a narcissist. But at the same time, um, if you're new here, I study psychology and criminology in college. I'm going into my senior year. And um, I took this abnormal psych class where basically they talked about narcissism. And basically it's a disorder. Like it's not like something people intentionally try to do. It's literally just like a mindset that people have automatically. So like because of like that, I kind of felt like I could probably like help him with his narcissism in some kind of way and like be that savior in that sense. But at the same time, that's not my responsibility. Um, we even like looked at like going to therapy together. Hell, um, I wasn't going to go in therapy myself because like at some at the at the point of like like it was at the point where he would make it seem like there was so much stuff that like I just needed to work on or like that that was like hindering the relationship or like I was it was my fault for some reason and I was like damn like do I need therapy like me and my dad didn't have the best relationship at that point in time so like he would be like this is why your relationship is like this with your dad basically like making it seem like it was my fault which that's a whole other story for a whole other time but like it was just like dang like what the fuck like damn like damn like low blows don't give a fuck how low the blow is he gonna he gonna he gonna throw it every time like had me questioning myself or like i said in my last video like i compromised so much of myself in that relationship that it just wasn't healthy anyway and i'm glad that we ended up cutting ties um i'm glad that it happened when it did i'm glad i didn't get to the end of those two months while he was in school and then he actually popped a question because i would have said yes like i loved him enough that i would have said yes I would have and um with that ring I probably would have even tried to keep fighting for the relationship even more than I already was and that would have been even even worse hell mm -mm. and I would have been a stepmom I'm not even a real mom which no no you know nothing against stepmoms or nothing like that I have one love her but at the same time it's just like bro I'm like <laughs> I was like 20 like I don't if I wanted a kid I would have one I damn sure don't want a kid that you created in the process of us being with each other. I, I don't want that. So, um, yeah, I know not to think, not to ignore the signs. Um, I know what the signs are. Um, and yeah, I've been like loving on myself, exploring myself, self-love and self-care and all that kind of stuff. And like, um, 
happier. Like it's that relationship it took a lot of like strain. Like it took a lot of uh, took a big. What, what I'm trying to say, that relationship put a lot of strain on me mentally, emotionally, hell, even physically at sometimes. Like being preoccupied like you know if you get into it with your significant other like you that's all you're thinking about or like stuff like that like just i was not where i needed to be and that relationship was like not where i needed to be at and i thank god that i said that prayer and he got him up out of there and even afterwards y'all like i said like we kept talking and stuff like that god was just showing me even more every time we talked like here your ass go here go another one in case you want to hear me the first time here go another sign in case you want to hear me the second time here go another sign in case you want to hear me the third time like god was not having it i was like all right god you got it like I, i'm out of there and i'm glad um i don't think he's a bad person at all um but i he is a narcissist and um i wish him well i hope he gets some help just for the sake of like his daughter so he don't mess her up or nothing like that but um i'm happy i'm happy where i am in life um moving on to bigger better things um taking care of myself and whatnot and i just hope that anybody who watches this video if you're in that kind of situation that you just get out of it um whatever it takes for you to be done i hope that you're, you're just done like you just if this is if it's this video if it's whatever i just hope that you are done like just be done because can't nobody be done for you like anybody in your life that's like oh they're sick of it like i get it like i completely understand like you you're not done until you're done so i completely understand that but i just want you to be done please so yeah that's my story um thank y'all so much for watching um i'll be back next time with another video for y'all you know i'm keeping them coming hot fresh out the oven yeah um make sure i like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already and comment some video ideas below and i'm gonna see y'all on the next one